here we are again on our um, procedurally generated arc um, for a little more adventuring. Last time we tamed our um, upstairs, our Pteranodon, um, with all the trials and tribulations that went along with it. And on this episode, we are going to hit the skies and do a bit of exploring. So, um, our plan is to look for a place where we can make a permanent base. Um, we, you know, this is a lovely area, but the resources are quite limited. I'm just going to close this door, leave the Pego out of line of sight. Um, you know, and we don't know where the resources are. So we're going to have a little bit of a look around and see what's happening. And we're going to go for some stamina because we um, want to go as far as we can without stopping. Now, first of all, let me apologize. If you can hear the sound of a fan um, or wind rushing noises um, uh, periodically, it is steaming today and um, it's an extremely humid day so air conditioners don't ver work very well down under in the humidity so um, it's uh, a fan or just melt into a puddle in the corner so my apologies but um, you are going to have to put up with it just like I do so we're headed I think we're headed north uh, no, you could be south. No sense of um, direction on this map because we have no clue. Here's a likely little island out here. We'll go out and see what's happening with that. Um, it almost looks like there's a bit of a sandbarish type situation, so you could possibly walk out to it. Uh, Bronto not doing anything is a good sign. Lots of herbivores. Uh, that's an oviraptor running away from something. <clears throat> Not sure what, but we'll have a little bit of a look around. This, an island would actually not be a bad idea for a base. It would protect us from um, things that wander such as gigas, etc. However, once again, um, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of um, bushes to pick. It's one of those nasty little pegamastaxes over there. Yeah, you can just hiss at me and uh, forget about it. So we'll keep looking. There looks like some some sort of sandy, maybe um, sandbar type islands over here. Holy cow! Could you get any more populated? Like this is where all the things are. All of them. Wow. Rightio. Good to know if we want things. Um, again, a little island like this wouldn't be too bad. Oh, we're tired. Can we get to the island? Um, we can. You could put gates up just across this little um, neck of the island and not have to worry about anything else wandering into your base. That'd be quite cheap on fencing, but again, lack of resources. Got plenty of trees here for wood. Um, not a lot of rocks though, and no metal to be seen as yet. Um, not even the river star. Wow, that's a lot of dodos. Where did you guys all come from and where are you going? Like, is it some sort of dodo migration? Or is it whatever you guys are killing? Did you upset the apple cart? I think so. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep going and see what we can find. There's a Pegamastax. Scorpion. Let's go.
first there was the snow biome that gave us such a hard time. Okay, more stem. And we might see if we can pop down for a bit of a rest somewhere here. And again, we're not seeing any areas with great amounts of berries, which is going to be a problem um, for making narcotics, basically. We can get a farm going and just simply farm narcotics or narco berries if we, um, if we can't find an area where we can collect them easily. Um, but that would be my second choice, not my first choice of things to do. Um, let's go and have a look at the border. Oh no, maybe let's get this green drop. It has a gold halo. What do you reckon we're going to get in it? I'm thinking some blueprints. Mind you, the green drops I've found are probably the best value. Um, hey, Tyrannodons, how are we all? Just hanging out casually. A couple of Rexes. I hope we won't draw their attention. So I'll just get this and head back out. Come on, land, dude. Yep, we'll take all that. Ride. Lag. Ride. Thank you. Um, don't need all of that. And in fact, we may ditch the blueprint for the sign and the ladder and the hatch frame and the trap door. I tend not to use ladders. Um, they frustrated me right from day one. That's Obsidian. Um, I guess just because I sucked at day, from day one at um, placing them and, you know, never really got over that since. Interesting um, ground formation here. And again, you can see it as we come up on um, the the border between whatever this grassland is and the snow biome on the procedurally generated it tends to be like a line and you can see that's really clearly delineated there um, snow is good we're not going to head into the snow because we're wearing cloth armor we won't survive it we're still just looking out for a place to build now I don't see any really tall um, hills. I mean that's probably the tallest one I've seen. Um, aloes and brontos having a good. This looks to me like I don't know if you guys have seen. There's a product advertised where you strap them to the bottom of your shoes and they've got spikes on them and you go and spike your lawn with them. That's what that looks like. Has been somebody with those on their shoes has just walked right through there. So as this is a landlocked lake, which is nice. Oh gosh, Rexes though. Looks like um, they get plenty of water runoff in the season. Oh, hell's bells. We better um, pop down and get a bit of stam out in the open. Land! And apologies for the noise outside if you can hear it it's my housemates do i call them housemates my son oh, wolf no we're off we're out um coming home slamming car doors of course and i wonder what we've got the other side of this leg haven't seen a redwood biome at this point um plenty of trees though I'm loving these big fat trees. I really want to have them around wherever I choose to finally build a base. Um, would be very cool because um, I just like them. They remind me of an Australian tree called a boa, but this is not. Seriously? Is this just... We did just do a... Is that snow biome that big? 
Well, crikey. Let's go back this way. That takes us back toward our base. Um, and all of those resources, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Um, I didn't think that it would have created a snow biome that big. Um, but, well, you never know. And I will be right back. We've decided there's our little thatch hut and hello we've just about cleared out all of the I'm, I'm sure you saw a little spitty up bit of me frantically going around picking picking bushes chopping trees chopping up stone we've gathered enough stone to put down stone foundations but I'm going to be building with a combination of hush you guys do you I'm trying to talk to the people um, a combination of wood and stone. I really like how it feels. I have decided that I might as well go ahead and set up a um, greenhouse. Won't see any of that today. Um, what I will do, however, is um, get this building underway. Now, the most important um, thing is the very first foundation so what I want to do is set up the house so it's facing out to the ocean that will be our view um, we will have a couple of stories uh, obviously and I'm going to include a, um, a like a balcony type landing pad for um, our pteranodon um, and hopefully we will have a higher level pteranodon just randomly land next to us like this one um, that we can really seriously that we can tame um, and upgrade our levels and I do have berries in my zero slot just in case the pegamastaxes like this one here decide that oh, that um, that they want to um, be a part of the whole thing. Uh, you can just go inside here, seriously, with your friend. I've got the S plus crafting table set up there. I got a storage box in um, one of the drops. So this is going to be our, no, I don't want you to follow me. This is going to be our, our base still until we get our house up and running. Um, and this is where I've decided to go f to start. So we'll get our foundations laid um, and I'll come back to you when I've got more house to show you. Alright, so here we are back again, just about to pull down um, our um, little thatch hut. I'm not worried about retaining the resources for it. And if we, I'm trying not to show you the new base too much. Um, this should, there we go. And sky fell. And right around here, new base. Now, still working on the top, we're going to put a bit of a roof over the top because we do get the occasional RG flyby. So they just might pick on whatever's up here. But let me bring you in and show you. This is a set of dino gates, obviously, um, just to allow us to bring something like a trike, or I believe you can still get T-Rexes through um, the doors. Uh, you can just stay right there. Uh, fairly simple here. We've got a lower floor um, with a door out back in the direction of where our house was and a nice little wooden deck to enjoy, enjoy the view. There you go. Case in point, the occasional argy. So we won't be leaving our pteranodon on the roof 
at this point. Um, but quick fly. Um, you can see there is plenty of room to park um, a few birds um, or a super queue on the top um, or even on here if land. What is with this? This is an upper deck um, above our nice little wooden deck there. Um, ramps to get in and out doors to get in and out all the way around but as I said we are going to park our pteranodon inside at this point because oh come on um, because the last thing we need is yeah and it's super fat because I'm carrying the last of the mats um, back here upstairs we have some storage some basic storage at this point I know, I know organisation is the key, but um, we haven't had enough time really to get organised. And then we have another staircase up to the top. So we have access um, all the time. And this is the beginnings of um, a roof for the top, which will be open on all four sides, but will allow us to fly in and out with something large. Um, and yes, we've got our meat on. Um, we're going to make put our crafting um, tables and benches over in this area and along this rail here um, to allow us, as I said, room to bring in something like a trike or a rex if we need to offload. We will replace this with um, a grill. We don't really have anything as yet because we haven't done a metal run yet. We are going to replace the storage with bulk storage but we need obsidian for that so it will all take time. So um, we're going to leave it there here inside the new base which I'm reasonably happy with. Uh, if you have any suggestions, criticisms, which I'll ignore, comments, suggestions for what our next um, adventure within this procedurally generated arc should be, then pop them down below. Otherwise, wherever you are, whatever you do, have a good one.